Hello and welcome back to Marine Lair Gaming. We will be diving into Act 1 of Cyberpunk 2077 Nomad Storyline. Whoa, V? Look at your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something. When I jacked into that Corpo's Biomon. I know a neurovirus or... I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Alright, from the last time, I equipped some of our clothing here that we found on our last couple of missions. So this is a bomber jacket that provides me some armor. I don't have anything for my face. That's a combat shirt that was pretty good. The boots. I don't think I have any clothing sets currently. But I've equipped some weapons also. It's always good to have a melee weapon in addition to some guns. And let's take a look at our perks quick. Crafting. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, what's the perk point? So, attribute point and perk points. Mechanic. Craftsman. Scrapper. Oh. Pack mules. Ooh, yeah. Let's increase our max health by 10%. I think that's all we have. Alright, let's go meet up with Jackie. So, what? Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. I'm gonna run away from that quick. That doesn't sound good. You catch the last episode of the Big Eat Show? You know, about Eastern Europe? Ooh, I'm just gonna pick up all this junk here if I can. You want something? I mean, geez, all them mushrooms. Hmm. I mean, 99, 99, drop tea. Don't forget, you're worth it. <laughs> you bet? <laughs> Rude. Don't worry about me. Just gonna grab your garbage. June, you could boil shit in piss, and it still smell better than this fucking dump. Ooh, there's an outdoor gym area here. How you like my new punching bag? I'm gonna grab that. Gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? How's it going? Fight's about to start. Let's learn about this guy a little bit. Watch. Take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Fed him, clothed him. 
<laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a Chuma mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Oh. You got one hell of a punch there, Chief. That's a pretty cool training robot. I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? You go in the ring yourself? Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. There's ways of fixing that. Karenza cops should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. You mentioned something about fighting? Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Lucrative for <laughs> who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Oh, I get it. Want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, you gotta make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Something the matter? Oh, is this a gunshot? That's cool. What you got for me? Let's have a look. Oh, I don't have money. Well, I have a little bit of money. Oh wait, is that free? Oh, that's free. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit too poor for anything else currently. Doesn't hurt to look though. Oh. These mods might be nice later on when I actually have a little more cash. Would be nice to add some mods to my weapons and figure out the crafting system so I can upgrade. An iconic item. Interesting. Thanks a lot. Okay. I always forget the inventory button. I'm used to games where pressing tab will take you to your inventory or Related menus, you know? Yeah, I don't think I have any materials to do any crafting. No, not enough. Keep looting.
Sama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at W, enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, cyber psychosis, myth or reality. Alright, let's go find Jackie. Forgot how to holster my weapons just now. We didn't talk about yesterday. It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. This place is pretty cool. Oh. Okay, good to know. That's where I can pick up some jobs then. Oh, this place is beautiful. Woman of the hour. Jeez. They took you long enough. Looked up an appetite just waiting. <laughs> Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you as the type for Asian. Who thought you'd find it too exotic? What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles, check. Since sirloin, check. Get some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, Maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You me? Oh. But T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up, got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Dexter Deshaun. What's the latest spec on him? Know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was, I took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. How was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. Important thing is, he's back. He's a fresh group, and he found us. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... Old deal's riding on you now, chica. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Now Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? 
Not really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit by their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, adios. Lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with scabs. Oh, good. That's much Thanks, needed. Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So, we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Alright, let's head on out. Oh, I guess I'm driving this time around. First stop. Ripper Dock. And Chica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. The Misty. First person say. driving is really weird. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Well, we made it here. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. But first, I'm gonna look for some loot. Look at that. Picking up garbage off the floor. <laughs> Carry the profit. Do you truly believe? That those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around. <laughs> he reminds me of that one guy in, um. I think it was like Fallout 3. The one prophet guy. Okay. I'm just gonna steal your stuff really fast. You look pleased. Cause I am. Always. Makes for easier living. Interesting place. We got a new job line I'm a big hitter at the afterlife. Oh. Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, mi amor. Spry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you. You too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kitten caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to hmm. be. It's a good tip. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. <laughs> got a job from Dex to Sean. 
in the major leagues. That's right. The tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Yeah, I'm poor. Quit crying, Vic. Sorry. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. I'll have yeah. money eventually, I'm sorry. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Don't know what he injected himself with, but that's, um... Uh, that's interesting. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Oh, could be like a nerve stabilizer thing, so he doesn't shake. Now check I don't know. in. Kuroshi, whoa! Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's <laughs> in hand. Yeah, I'll pay you. Don't worry. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Ooh, yes. Could use some upgrades. Eyeballs. Oh yeah, that's what he's about to install into my eyes. My eye sockets, rather. Yeah, I don't have enough street cred for any of this. That's funny. No money for legs. Well, upgraded legs, anyway. Can't upgrade that. Or that. Nothing there. Man, that stuff's expensive. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. <laughs> My major league arm. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play that play looks though. a little really um, worrisome. Makes you sound like a dentist. Just Always cutting and zapping on, away. On. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky gannic hand. Could slip. <laughs> Lights out for a minute, all right? Oh, I'm blind. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you Let in. Let me look at you with those new eyes. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Ooh. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. <laughs> That's a crazy point of view. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Should be okay. Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. His name really is Victor Vector. Might take you a few seconds That's to crazy. Adjust, but first time's really the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. 
I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Cool. So we can go bounty hunting. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new Definitely site. have to do some bounty hunting for money. Alongside, like, you know, the regular gigs and story missions. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Hmm. You're the best I guess everything I is like... an inhaler form nowadays. In the world of Go cyberpunk, on, anyway. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Okay. I'm gonna look around for loot really quick. Just to see if he has anything interesting here. Don't know what that was, but I'll take it. Grenades. monthly Guard up, you idiot. I gotta go explore those shards that I've been picking up Come some on, time him. Ah. who's winning Hernandez you know in the old days that cripple Malone would have been flat on the floor <laughs> oh I guess in this game NPCs don't like it when you walk away from them while they're talking hold on I'll come back Right, so then what? So Okay, that's pretty that? cool. Hernandez. You know in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb seventy five percent of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Uh, Aww. How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Think you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. Know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Well, I don't have money to pay you back, so... I think I'm gonna go. Oops. Okay, so you just walk away. You don't have to, like, press escape or something. I'm just used to pressing escape. Alright, let's get back up top to find Jackie. I need to pet the kitty again. Goodbye. Your heart is a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, <laughs> yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay. Do my best to talk us up. Hey, 
Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Interesting. Mm. Okay. So we can do non-lethal takedowns. But you are not the masters of your uh, Let's see what's down here. Who's this? I won't buy anything. I don't know if I can talk to that person, but let's go back and see the prophet. There seems to be an exclamation mark above him now. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? There's nothing around him. All around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. I can talk to him. For them, it is all mere spectacle. Let's just say you're right. So what? Should I just gouge out my optics? Ah, oh, thanks, but no thanks. You are beyond salvation. But not the children of the future. Life untainted by surgery of the sacrilege. We can yet save them. May the mothers shield their bodies. May the fathers instill their hatred for Crow. Okay. But who are those who follow our every step, you ask? Why the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri? In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses by putting our laughter, our tears, on oh, full oh display! My oh my god. Like in that show! Quick, get next to him. I'll snap still of you arresting him for revealing government secrets. Alright, that's enough of that. It is too late. Let's go find Dex. I think that's our next objective. Yep, it says so on the right hand side there. Meet with Dex. Okay, other side. Ooh. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> yes, bro. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? Hmm. This some sort of test. Eh, just a pet topic of mine. I mean, riddles? No, Miss V. Ontology. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. And sees Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. Mm, we understand stealth each missions other. up ahead, I guess. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? 
Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. <laughs> Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Ooh, that's brutal. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aimed to honor his predecessor's word. I'm gonna say no. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Yikes. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. All right. That's a pretty heavy operation. One more thing, Miss B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. All right, we'll get to learn how to build street cred. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kings. Prep work, I guess, before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Chingon. Yeah, you don't sound thrilled. Royce. What do you know about him? He's fucking whack, something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So. How you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Eh, let's start with Parker first. Parker. Think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. But I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Yeah. Let's, let's let Jackie hit up the uh, psycho gangs. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it here for today. Thank you so much for joining me. This game has been so much fun so far. 
please like my video if you enjoyed it today and subscribe for a lot more. And until then, please try to survive. <laughs>